Reading quotes and life lessons is like delving into the profound thoughts of renowned philosophers. These carefully selected aphorisms have the power to transform lives and impart valuable wisdom. And today, we have the privilege of conversing with one of the most influential minds in the realm of literature and social commentary, George Orwell. There are two ways to live, he decided. You can be rich, or you can deliberately refuse to be rich. You can possess money, or you can despise money. The one fatal thing is to worship money and fail to get it. You can get anything in this world if you genuinely don't want it. He had reached the age when the future ceases to be a rosy blur and becomes actual and menacing. When you have no money your life is one long series of snubs. No rich man ever succeeds in disguising himself as a poor man, for money, like murder, will out. One's got to change the system, or one changes nothing. In some ways, I did not even like it, but I recognized it immediately as a state of affairs worth fighting for. Human beings were behaving as human beings and not as cogs in the capitalist machine. Everyone always did miss everyone else in this war, whenever it was humanly possible to do so. The only community of any size in Western Europe where political consciousness and disbelief in capitalism were more normal than their opposites. A joke worth laughing at always has an idea behind it, and usually a subversive idea. Dickens is able to go on being funny because he is in revolt against authority, and authority is always there to be laughed at. When one reads any strongly individual piece of writing, one has the impression of seeing a face somewhere behind the page. It is not necessarily the actual face of the writer. There are occasions when it pays better to fight and be beaten than not to fight at all. The gentleness of the English civilization is perhaps its most marked characteristic. You notice it the instant you set foot on English soil. It is a land where the bus conductors are good-tempered and the policemen carry no revolvers. Probably the Battle of Waterloo was won on the playing fields of Eton, but the opening battles of all subsequent wars have been lost there. <laughs>